I love being here with you. I guess I just took this leap of faith simply because it looked like so much fun. I really like the social aspect of being online, but I don't really like Twitter and, you know, I don't really like Facebook of where it's like just text that's less personal oh, yeah. and VR chat seems to, and I only play VR chat, by the way, VR chat seems to be like this middle ground oh, yeah. of being like around people, but at the same time, like, being online so it's not it's not like too intrusive like 90 percent of the people that are on vr chat are 25 and younger because they're exploring the new foundation of vr because nobody knows what vr is going to be or the medium of vr they don't they don't know like how do you sell vr but these but the generation of you know the age group of people that have the most time on their hands and and are you know the most energy are young people and so they're going to take this medium and they're going to bring it up to mainstream what's that going to look like i don't know vr chat does things that we dreamed about as kids they do things that we saw in like episodes of ghosts in the shell I've had friends from across, I've had American friends and German friends for years, but I now can physically interact, I can virtually interact with them in a way that, that just nothing else competes with. Experiencing your friends in VR is like on st stimulation overdrive. Yo, let's go to the Japanese uh, flower gardens and, and with the cherry blossoms. Bam, you're there. Yo, let's go play mini golf on the moon. Well, bam, you're there. The space whale, here it comes. Look at the size of that thing. It's incredible. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, just look at that. That's incredible. This is like this is like a typical VR chat day. You uh, you see a dog taking a bath, and uh, and that's it. I mean, that's that's pretty much it. For us first adopters, we are literally on the frontier. I have no doubt that 10, 15 years from now, they'll talk about experiences like this, and they'll say, this was where it started. This is this is true inter... We've always been an interconnected society since the dawn of the internet, but this is very real. You know the only complaint I have about this Avatar Cosmic? Mm -hmm. How small my boobs are. Can I sir? I have really small boobs. So... Really small. Okay, so definitely it's, maybe. It's, it's it's over two years, maybe uh, maybe Easily. two and a half. Yeah, we've known each other longer than we've had our headsets, uh, for sure. Yeah. I'm not um I'm not transgender or anything, but I've certainly become very comfortable with identifying as a as a female. I, like I don't know if I'd ever consider myself transgender or anything, but I do know that if tomorrow someone came up to me and said, I have invented a pill, it will turn you into a woman overnight, I'd be like, I could do that happily. <laughs> if that sounds mm. the same, if that sounds right. I'm, yeah. very, I'm much more in touch with the state of myself I wasn't aware of before VR chat. Yeah, you can just pick, you know, it can be anything tonight, you know. You know, I thought, oh, that looks quite cute. I'll wear that. Whereas a bloke, she's like, oh, I guess I'll wear jeans and a plaid t shirt because that's my wardrobe. <laughs> It'll be weird, but I have no, I have no issue. I'm, I'm a really confident person. Uh, I'm pretty good at meeting people for the first time, um, and we won't be meeting for the first time. I feel like, you know, as far as like exploring sexuality, like on VR, I feel like if you're curious about another uh, persuasion, this is probably, like, probably one of the best places to do it. I, I I loved him. Like I I don't know why, <laughs> but it's just like it those those feelings are, are very strong and I didn't expect it. But but the problem is is that now I'm thinking about like, oh wait, is this is this gay? Um because now now it's like even like gay culture, like I don't I don't like gay culture. I think it's it's flamboyant for no reason. Why can't I just love someone because I just love them. And I feel like I can I can explore stuff without 
in here and and i would i would i would love like i would love for it to just be be normal uh basically our dating on uh has been on vr chat like in in the vr sphere it's, it's weird all of it's weird and it's not it's not something that's socially accepted yet which is a shame because it can be quite amazing. Anywhere you want to go in the world, you're there. <laughs> so, so when you cut to the real world and you try to date in the real world in comparison to it, it's just the travel time to get to the place that you want to do the thing. It's just frustrating. Um, yeah. So actually, my avatar right now that you're seeing. Um, is a 3D scan of me. I'm a PhD student studying clinical psychology, and more specifically, I'm very interested in how we can use social VR to treat mental health disorders, because I think that uh, the power of connecting with other people is something that can help to prevent a lot of different disorders. So when we're alone in our room, we can put on the headset and immediately be surrounded by other avatars uh, is extremely powerful for helping people with psychological issues and things like that. Um, I more see uh, the potential to focus the positive effects of VR chat because VR chat is not built for treating these disorders, and yet it is sometimes treating those disorders. So, if we can build something specifically that's designed to treat these disorders, then I think that the power can be harnessed in a way to focus in and really get people recovering, especially younger people, because I think VR in general speaks to younger people, but people of all ages as well. Um, will really benefit, I think, from targeted social VR interventions that, that treat these underlying disorders and things. I don't know if I'll hug you when I see you. I don't even know if we'll, like, do a bro shake, like a bro, like a, a full <laughs> arm length handshake or something, but like, I definitely won't bother me. It'll just be very strange for probably about 20 minutes. You sort of know fine already because we've, we've known each not other many two, people. Two, over two years. Yeah. So. Yeah. There we go. Oh, he's so big. Yes, I am. So here we go. I'm looking at it, it's just your voice, and I, it now it's like I've seen like picture of you once. Yeah. Before. You're sort of walking up, so you sort of kind of already know them in a sense. Yeah. It's it's yeah. fun to take the stuff that like in VR there's very there's there's things that we, we log in and we want to do. We're like let's do this today. Let's go look at new avatars today, like as if you're going window shopping. Let's go look at avatars all night and that's the thing we'll do. Yeah. Whenever we're in person it's like I can do normal things I do with other people, yes. like we can yeah, go yeah. drinking or yeah. let's go to the pub or you know <laughs> stuff like that, yeah. which is weird that's weirder than the actual meeting, I think. Actual yeah. camping, like Yeah, back to be, basics. Yeah, there will, there will be a fire yeah. and tents, Lots of tents and cold nights. Very cold nights. Yeah, it's yeah. Not warm down here. <laughs> you know, you're connecting people from all across the world, and then, um, I just, I never expected the guy. So weird. Yo, you can't answer this one. Why did you tell no, him about it? No, 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 it? Yeah, yo, why did you no. tell him about it? He thinks he's so funny. <laughs> 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 Once upon a time, which wasn't very long ago, I met this other VR chatter who, um, most of the time they're on here, they're intimate <laughs> with other people. Um, and I said, well, how does that work? Because I don't have this whole phantom touch thing. It doesn't work for me. This person said, well, we actually use these remote controlled objects. You control very long distance. So you can be on VR chat. And if you want to be intimate with someone, as opposed to hoping that they just feel something that they most likely won't, um, you have direct control and you can do whatever you want on your iPhone with this and object. And you, you, all you want to do is touch him. All you want to do is hold him and hug him and and just just mm. grab him and you can't. So 
I mean, this is kind of a kind of a way that I can. I really believe in the whole like you should probably try something at least once, just because that's. I mean, it's interesting, right? I I played VR chat for you know a couple months, three months, and I had never even gotten close to the whole like that whole crowd. But there's always going to be this crowd in any other in any group or fandom or whatever that kind of brings things to that level. But since this is well, like a it's the, ult it's the ultimate emotional experience. Most people they want it. The person that they love, they want to have a good time. Oh, of course. And that's, that's that's all it is. It's weird. It okay, well. I get it's weird. I uh, you get it. It's it doesn't really matter. See, that's the thing. I would be normally I would be so worried about being in a documentary, but I don't know. You just you got to take risks. You got to take chances. You can't really just be too timid your entire life. Otherwise, you miss out on things. And I find that most of the people that are on VR chat are groundbreakers. They're people who, because VR, VR isn't really like an easy thing to come by. You have to know that you really, really want it when you get it, because it's not a light purchase. But most of the people in VR that have VR are usually so unique and ha have that same mindset that um, everyone's just friends. Everyone that has VR gets along. Mm. Come on. It's trailblazing.